Hey resellers, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. I am back with another what sold video in the same format just to show you some things that are selling for me in quarter four. Now I'm not hand selecting, hey, just the highest priced items that have sold or you know, just the bread and butter items or anything like that. I am truly working my way, showing you guys basically everything that is selling through through quarter four. I think in order to get these videos into quarter four though, I either have to start adding more items to each video, which would, I feel like make them too long or maybe skip over some of the duller sales. But um, I'm definitely trying to, to give you guys all of the information possible. So I'm just gonna make myself a little bit smaller here real quick and uh, hide over here in the corner. I'm gonna share my screen and walk you guys through. I think today I have like 23 or 24 items that have sold. The first of which is this, this is kind of like a cream pitcher. Um, this is a Sasaki brand. That brand there is really, really important to note. Um, Sasaki Matte Pink Creamer. This is a small creamer. This sold for $9.99 plus $10 shipping. Now, it's important um, to note something on this sale. So, I had picked up an entire set of this Sasaki brand China. Um, there were like 86 pieces, I think, in this, and I bought it for $25. It caught my attention because it was this beautiful matte pink. I could tell it was kind of like a modernist design, but not modern, you know, like when you can tell something was made to look modern in the 50s, uh, even in the 80s, which I think was maybe when this was, was made. I'm not positive. But when I saw it, I saw here's the marking, Sasaki. Um, I saw it was made in Japan. It just, everything about this, uh, you know, the, the weight of it, the strength of it, it just kind of reeked um, of quality. So I asked the thrift store how much for everything that they had out there. They said everything, like all 86 pieces, I tell you what, we'll sell it to you for $25. I split it in half. I kept eight of the dinner plates, the um, salad plates, and the bowls. I did not keep any of the teacups, any of the saucers, the serving platter. I just don't have room for those things, but I loved this so much that I did want to use it as my everyday dishes. Now, I looked up comps online, and guys, they were outrageous. So I put the entire set on eBay, and um, I had it on there for probably the better part of a year, close to like $800, $900, yes, this brand carries that type of value. Well, I finally had someone approach me and ask if I would sell just the dishes without all the teacups. I sold her the dishes that she requested, um, so minus the teacups, minus this creamer, she was all in at right at $500. So it was like 400 and something plus shipping. So she said her absolute max budget was $500. I shipped those over to California and I have a shipping video about how I ship things like that. I will um, link that below in the description. Uh, you know, don't be afraid of shipping things like that. So I was all ready for my $25 investment. I kept half of the dishes myself. So honestly, I made more than my money back just off of what I would have spent on dishes for my own home. Um, but then I sold over $500 and now here is another ten dollars um, in shipping and ten dollars you know in sale but this buyer came back to me after I mailed this one item to them they got it in New York City they met reached out and messaged me again and asked if they could buy all of the Sasaki that I had left in this color and I had nine teacups which brings us to the next sale so these are nine teacups and nine saucers that is what I sold them teacup and saucer and you can see that the buyer is all in for another hundred and fifty dollars so um, this was absolutely one of my best pickups, one of my best flips um, on these dishes. I mean, just these two sales that I'm telling you guys about today would have been worth paying the $25 for all of these, but then add on the other $500. So $650, um, yeah, like $660 worth of sales, plus I kept half of the dishes. This is a brand that you have to be on the lookout for. That's just amazing. Um, Sasaki, yeah, so that one, don't mess around when you see Sasaki Colorstone. Here's an interesting sale for you. I sold a potato chip. If you guys didn't know about this, um, you can see how far back into quarter four I'm reaching on uh, the sales right now. Like I'm saying, I'm gonna have to, to do something to speed my way through my quarter four sales. This chip sold for $37.99 plus $4.30 shipping. Um, I listed it because I was trying to encourage people to, um, you know, don't forget to have a little bit of fun in your job. Um, you can sell anything on eBay. Like if, if I walk into the thrift store and I see this eBay tape, guess what? This is gonna sell on eBay. The very first item that ever sold on eBay was a broken laser pointer. Anything, 
can sell on eBay. There are literally, I have this little NASA spoon that I'm keeping for myself to put up in my office. I could sell this on eBay. I could sell these two little power things, um, you know, like, you can sell anything on eBay. And that was the whole point of this experiment. Now listen, I'm not telling you to go through, and I have a video about this, and list uh, puffed up potato chips that you have and expect them to sell for $46.22 or however much it's come out to. Um, and that is not going to happen. A friend, a viewer, and a fellow YouTuber bought this. And they bought it uh, for a couple different reasons. One, you know, to have as much fun on, on eBay and on YouTube as I was, because you know, I got to make a video about this. I'm getting to tell you guys about it now. We got to encourage people on Instagram that, hey, you can do it. You can literally sell dirt on eBay if you want to. You can sell a potato chip on eBay. Um, they also got a great video out of it, and uh, that friend of mine is the ATL Flipper. So if you guys haven't seen Derek and his wife Jasmine's video about the purchase of this potato chip and when it came in, I'm going to link it below, and it is hilarious. One of the funniest videos I've ever seen. Um, so check out that video after you watch this because it is just so funny. But again, this is just to encourage you. I guarantee you have picked up things and you're thinking no one's going to want this. That may be exactly what someone is looking for, okay? You can sell anything over on eBay. Uh, the next item that sold are these adorable little stagecoach. Um, these are like kind of... They're like a gold tone brass salt and pepper shakers, believe it or not. I picked these up for a dollar. They sell for twelve dollars and ten cents plus four thirty shipping. Not a huge profit there, but you can see they're not in really that great a condition. But they did have both of the corks. Um, they don't have to have the corks and salt and pepper shakers. They will still sell. It's not hard to get replacement corks, but it was definitely a plus that these had them. But you can see there's some patina, there's some wear. I mean, they're they're far from perfect condition. This next item that sold is a Lucky Brand size medium sweater cardigan. Um, this is a really a, a pretty beautiful cardigan. It sold for $22 plus $7.50 shipping. And I want to say I picked this up. Um, look at this. Do I really just have three pictures of this? This sold for the buyer is all in at almost $30 for something with three photos. Way to go, Rachel. This must have been during listing 50 items a day. And I was just like, yep, here, here, here. Uh, on to the next item. So three photos and the description, I guarantee you, just says, uh, ships fast. Please see all photos. Thanks and God bless. Almost $30. Your description doesn't have to be any flower, anything flowery. I paid like $2.50 for that. This guy I paid $2 for. He is, I feel like he's um, something that you want to um, want to be looking for. He is a Fisher Price Imaginex Eagle Talon Castle Green Ogre Monster Toy Tested Works. This little guy is pretty large. He was at least this tall. In his wingspan, like with his arms and everything, he was probably about like this. Um, he is, let's see, whenever you operate him, I didn't realize that I had my cabinet and everything in that photo. <laughs> when you operate him, he had like this uh, trigger that you squeeze on the back and he makes noises and stuff. But um, I picked him up for $2. He sold for $19.40 plus $12 shipping. So yeah, I definitely, <laughs> look, at his, look at his cute little happy ogre face. I feel like he's definitely something you want to look out for. And you can see here on the bottom, there is an imprint there for a figure to go and he did not have that figure. Um, but he's pretty easy to test with just batteries. Um, yeah, I mean almost $40 that the buyer is in. Not, not quite almost $40, but uh, a good little amount of money like 37 bucks. Um, this is another one of my Harley Davidson collectible figurines. My husband had these as a child. We just didn't have any um, desire to keep them and it sold for $15.90. Be sure if you're selling something collectible that you wrap it up well whenever you sell it. Um, these are Beast Fashion, which is just some, like, it may as well be Wish.com that maybe where, where they sell them. Nothing, absolutely nothing really special about these shoes. They are plastic. There's no leather. There's no suede to these. Like, you can tell just by looking at them. They are pretty daggum basic. I paid, like, $3, I'm going to say, for these. It might have been $4. Sold them for $20, and that was on a best offer. And the buyer paid $8 shipping. If I can tell you one thing for Q4, it is to pick up these ankle boots. I have been picking them up regardless of the brand almost, as long as they are in very good condition. These these were almost new. Um, Tom's have been selling very well for me, especially the Tom's ankle booty wedges. Um, they all sell between $20 and $30. So if you can pick these up at your thrift store like I can for, you know, two, three, four dollars, even five dollars, I think I would I would spend five dollars to sell for twenty plus eight dollars shipping. Whatever your business model is. Ankle boots are, I just can't keep them in stock. 
Um, this next one, this was pre-Halloween, and there's one other Halloween item that is on here. These are a pair of pirate boot covers. Um, I paid $1 for these. I did free shipping um, and sold them for $28.90. These were $1 these were never used they didn't have a tag but you can see right here they have this piece that is connecting them so I couldn't model them and I was like kind of desperate for someone to know and understand exactly what they looked like on and this was my best photo so I don't feel like these even had great photos and sold for almost $30 for a $1 investment these are a pair of champion jogging pants that my husband bought for me, got them home, and they were, they just fit really odd in the waist. This was like kind of a, they were too hard right here, and so they didn't lay flat on you, and they end up looking like they were too big. Um, so they were champion women's jogger black, um, size large, drawstring, logo. I definitely put logo or spell out if the item has the logo or the spell out on it. Spell out means that, you know, like if you have a, a Nike hoodie and it says Nike down the arm or across the chest, if like the whole name is spelled out somewhere, don't forget that as a keyword. These sold for $19.99, which is probably about what he had in them or close to it because he got these at like a TJ Maxx. So we just wanted to get our money back because we waited too long to return the item. Do you guys do that? You wait too long to return something, you're like, well, daggum, now I have to sell it on eBay. Um, this next item that's sold is a comic book, Wendy the Good Witch. This is from 1969. I bought this. I have pennies into it because I bought that entire stack of comic books. If you guys have been following me for any amount of time at a private pick that I did, uh, they were all like 70s and 60s and 70s. This one sold for $9.99 with free shipping. It is not in phenomenal condition. You can see some wear and tear here. Um, I take a picture of every single corner of the item. You can see the corner is missing here. I take a picture of the front and the back. I want a buyer to know exactly what they're getting. If you ever buy something from me, you will know exactly what you're getting. So $9.99 with free shipping on that. Zodiac boots. You have to pick up Zodiac boots if they're in good condition and you see them. Look how beautiful these are. These are a six and a half, which is not even that desirable of a size. I feel like every time I find them, they're in like a six and a half or a seven or something um, pretty small. But these sold for $81 used, you guys, with $12 shipping. Um, everyone's talking about Docs, but who's talking about Zodiac? I am talking about Zodiac. I talk about these over on my Instagram as well. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I post bolos there. Um, I post all kinds of things that that I come across when I as I come across them so I will link below in the description my Instagram as well be sure to come over there and give me a follow um, happy to have you over there and then that's also the best place to reach out if you want to truly have a conversation or message me about something get my opinion on a designer bag anything like that reach out to me on Instagram this next item I also bought for myself but I bought these like four years ago for myself Dan skin now girls Yes, girls, a size extra large, 14 to 16. Now these fit all right throughout the legs, but the hips were never going to happen. So um, I bought these on Walmart clearance for $1, maybe $3. Um, anyway, I sold them for $9.98 plus $5 shipping. I don't make a regular habit of picking up Walmart brand clothes unless they are super, super dirt cheap because there has to be a reason for the buyer to uh, purchase it from you. If it's a discontinued item and they can no longer get it from Walmart, obviously that's their reason, but if they can go on Walmart and get it with free shipping cheaper, why would they order it from you? So if, you, if the profit margin is just outstanding, go ahead and order Walmart or buy Walmart retail arbitrage clothing, but if not, um, you know, I kind of steer clear of that. The profit's have to be there. Um, so this next item is a set of silverware. I cleaned these using a um, method that I actually have a video about. I will try to remember also to link that below in the description so that you guys can see um, how, it, now obviously it's not polished up to a T, but it is, trust me, tremendously better than what it looked. This is just silver plated. Uh, Williams Rogers uh, AA Heavy Onita Oneida, um, silver plate from 1940. Lady Drake is the pattern. If you can ever mention the pattern, especially if you only have one set or you know just random pieces of silverware, try to use Google Lens if you need to. Um, circle through all of the sold. Uh, eBay listings and see if you can come up with what the pattern is because if someone has this pattern and they lose a fork you know the garbage disposal eats something or they lose it in the trash um, they need a replacement so this sold for nine dollars plus five dollars shipping I had purchased an entire box of silver so I'm definitely in the profit on this 
Next item that sold is a cicada shell. What did I tell you guys? That my friends enjoy helping me sell bizarre and weird things. Now this one actually wasn't quite as bizarre as the potato chip. You might think it is, but take it from me that there's a market for cicada shells over on eBay. Um, if you don't believe me, type in cicada shells and look it up over on eBay. You will see how well they actually do sell and it's it's kind of crazy. So there are likely a lot of things in your own yard that are sellable over on eBay and I'm gonna link below to my friend Noelle Farm Girl Scavengers video that she has um, a video that says does money grow on trees. And yes, she lives on some acreage. She lives on, you know, a uh, property where they have fruit and nut trees and things like that. But in the video, she kind of goes through some things that you might have in your own yard also. And there's literally profit everywhere. So my whole point in posting this cicada shell for sale um, was I could only find two. So I listed both of them. And I listed them for, I think, $5.50 maybe, $5.10 a piece with free shipping. A friend of mine, a friend of the channel, a fellow YouTuber and reseller, and over at Dayton Valley Deals reached out to me and said, hey, will you take $10 for both of them? I couldn't buy the potato chip, but I want those cicada shells. Um, so I, I sent them to her and funny thing, I sent them to her and I said their names are Ruth and Boaz. Please don't ever split them up. <laughs> but again, it was, you know, I'm glad things like that could happen. Uh, I, I'm confident that the, I feel like they really genuinely would have sold. Um, they can sell as a uh, curiosity. You can see that as a keyword here. Taxidermy. Um, I don't think that you're allowed to sell true taxidermy like a stuffed deer head, mounted um, animals, things like that over on eBay. But, you know, this, I felt like including that as a keyword, uh, including that as a keyword could potentially flag your listing. So use that with great caution. But this is just to show you guys, I promise there are things in your yard that you could be selling. Like right now, I'm considering the oak leaves that I have and I'm considering some acorns. So again, I will tag below to Noel Farm Girl Scavengers video and you guys can check that out for yourselves. The next item that sold um, is a pair of Tadashi for cachet, size eight black sheer, chiffon overlay, palazzo, dressy pants, formal. These sold for $30 plus $7.50 shipping. I did use a stock photo on these because here is my photo. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if there's enough steaming in the world that would have made these things look right. And they are never, look at this. This looks like, <laughs> it looks like a skirt that's like, split up the front or something. These just look terrible. I absolutely had to find a stock photo. So there are going to be those items that are not your size. You cannot model them. They don't look good in a flat lay. They don't look good on the mannequin. You know, maybe see if you can borrow a photo on the internet and sell them for $30 plus $7.50 shipping. As we're going into the holidays, don't forget that people are looking for dressier clothes than normal, looking for darker fashions, looking for things, you know, to wear to Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, you know, get your dressy stuff out there. And also in quarter four, people are going to be looking for Christmas toys. This was a gift that we got my son like five years ago, I think, when he was 10 years old. He put this thing together and absolutely never played with it, which broke my heart because it was over $100. To see that it was only worth around $50 on eBay was also heartbreaking. This, I took a best offer of $42 and um, the shipping was $16.59. And that is actually shipping to Dexter here, to where I live. Um, the shipping on this, I think, ended up being over $30 because I did calculate it shipping. This guy may not look it, but he is quite heavy and he's very, very tall. Um, so yeah, he's just this, he's a robot. If you ever see a Meccano, um, Mechanoid. So Meccano is a brand of Mechanoid is what they're called. Um, you can put your phone inside of him. He's, he's a basic little robot, but if you see them, all of every single piece that you see here had to be built and put together. So it took us, I want to say like nine hours to build this thing. So yeah, over a hundred dollars in nine hours and then he never played with it. I think he was expecting it to be like a robot butler that would walk around and follow his every command. And instead it was kind of like, hey Mechanoid, tell me a joke, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not so sure. Maybe that's why these things don't have, don't command a huge price now. People know that they weren't quite as awesome as um, Meccano wanted you to think that they were. But still a pretty solid sale at $42 plus the shipping. And like I say, the buyer played almost the same in shipping as what they did for the item. So unusual items are going to sell as Christmas presents in quarter four for sure. 
warm winter wear, especially vintage. You know, you can't walk into Walmart and buy a pair of gloves like this. These are vintage size medium. Um, always look for sizing on gloves. Gray, red, blue, knit leather winter gloves, women's. Okay. I don't usually include women's or men's in the title because I think that that eats up words that are already searchable by eBay. If someone were to type that out in their search, I feel like eBay is already going to pull from your category and be able to, to see that. So, but I was honestly running out of keywords here. Um, there are some stitching issues here and there on these. Um, there, there's some wear, you know, a little soiling. There was a rip here. These were not in perfect condition, but again, you're not walking into Walmart and walking out with a pair of gloves like this anymore. I say it time and time again, but I am not trying to compete with Walmart or Amazon and sell the cheapest price item to the pickiest consumer. I am trying to sell something that they no longer make anymore, that you would need to drive back 35, 40 years to find to someone that is willing to pay for shipping. Though That is my target audience. So if that's your target audience, you would probably find a home here on this channel and I would um, implore you and ask you to uh, subscribe. So definitely, you know, if you're not subscribed, the button is right down there. If you don't have notifications turned on, the bell is right beside the subscribe button and I would love to have you guys here. Moving on to the next sale. This is a three pack of Woodwick um, Fraser Fur is the scent here. Wax candles, uh, or wax melts I should say. Now here's, here's the thing, at the end of Christmas you are going to be so tired of carols and the smell of pine and candy canes and all of the Christmassy things as far as like um, like the commercial aspect of Christmas that you, you're not even going to want to walk down the clearance aisle. Please walk down the clearance aisle. We bought these for 25 cents a piece and I have sold I think seven sets of them now for $13. These cost me about $3.50 to ship. Um, I mean I'm making like seven, seven fifty, I think, is what I ended up adding up every single time one of these sell. So, um, and because it is a three pack, seven, seven fifty, you know, let's just say seven fifty that I'm making um, times seven of them. I mean, I've made over fifty dollars on picking up twenty five cent wax melts at the end of the Christmas clearance season. So, um, when I got these, I was like, oh joy, pine. But then as we came around this year, I was like, yes, those pine wax melts. And they started selling the week before Halloween. Everyone was getting online and buying these. I probably could have added shipping to these. And, um, but, but whenever I first listed them, I thought, yeah, I really need to give people a reason to buy these online for me and not go to Walmart to buy them. This is already the price of like, I feel like two of them um, at Walmart. But anyway, so shop the after Christmas clearance. <laughs> it's a really good idea. I have a few more that I want to tell you guys about. This is a set of eight pencils. Um, pick up vintage pencils. Um, look on the, on the far right side of your screen here where I am zooming in on the font. I tell you guys a lot that you can date an item sometimes by the font. You see that Arco? You know how like late 40s, early 50s that Arco looks in Empire there above that being like a 50s font? Um, I know it cannot just be me that sees decades in these fonts. When you see things like this, when you see you see the uh, red stripe on the end of the pencil eraser here, that is something to look for. Because a lot of people have said, how can you tell if the old pencil is worth picking up? These are the things that you need to look for. This was a set of eight pencils that just sold for $19 with free shipping. And guys, last week I sold another, how many were in that lot? 12 or 15 pencils for $20 plus shipping. Vintage pencils will sell. Vintage, any kind of vintage um, office supplies sells. Staples, you know I've done really been really successful with staples. Um, chalk, magnifying glasses, staplers, any type of vintage office supplies absolutely sells. The next item is a set of cordless phones and it is there are three bases here and you'll see only two phones. Yeah, I could have probably taken out this base and just sold these two, but I thought, you know what, that's a bonus. And, um, you know, Who's to say that they don't have another phone? Or this could be the reason that a buyer buys this over someone else's. The buyer paid $28.50 plus $9 shipping. I am oftentimes able to pick these up for two and three dollars at the thrift store. It definitely fits my model of making 10 times your money. So look at and comp out cordless phones. Now comp them out. You do want to comp them out. Not all of them are worth what you think that they might be, but these multi headset um, pieces, multi handset, headset, whatever you want to call them, and with the answering machine here, definitely worth picking up. 
I already told you guys about these. Um, we are going to talk about another Halloween costume. This was the other Halloween costume. Now, I had this thing listed for like $15. Um, I think with $8 uh, priority mail shipping to try to get there to the buyer in time for Halloween, someone offered me, I want to say $7. And I said, how about 12? And she said eight. And I messaged her and I said, you know what? I'm going to take eight just because she caught me in the right mood that night. And I said, I appreciate you going back and forth with me and trying to stick to your guns of what you're obviously wanting to pay for this Halloween costume, even though it's like the week before Halloween. And she messages me back and says, thank you. This isn't for me. This is actually for a single mom mom I'm trying to um, help her get her kids Halloween costumes okay how many other kids does she have and what costumes do they need because I can send everyone a costume and she said um no actually we just needed to get the two-year-old a costume and that was all we had left so thank you so much and can you ship this out very quickly I said it will absolutely ship in the morning thank you so much and she's left positive feedback and that was just an overall good experience for everyone I paid one dollar um, for this costume so it was a win-win for me and look how adorable it is it has this little hood um, like here's the little little tail feathers <laughs> I love this so much and the zipper pull has a cracker on it Polly want a cracker. Um, Kanoi, oh, the Kanoi, wow. Candy Corn Lane, <laughs> I didn't read the second word. Candy Corn Lane, and I didn't even include that in the title. Um, probably should have put Candy Corn Lane somewhere in the title as the brand, but this costume is just adorable. Um, and the last item I want to tell you guys about that sold, also sold to a viewer slash friend slash retail, uh, retail, reseller slash YouTuber, Jesse Shops purchased two new kids on the block um, cassette tapes from me and she just loves new kids on the block I pick up cassette tapes especially when they're brands that just like feel-good bands it's, it's a good thing this is the last item in the video because you guys can tell I'm having a difficult time talking now but anyway um, not all cassette tapes sell well cassette tapes sell better if you lot them together but I will tell you I have even sold just random mixtapes from when we used to you know hold down record and play at the same time when you would request your favorite song on the radio um, these sold for $5.99 plus $5.10 shipping you can send these media mail so um, I again just take pictures of everything I want the buyer to know exact condition that they're going to be receiving these items in so front back in any condition details for sure um, that is my last photo there I just wanted wanted to show the buyer that there's some wear here so um, let me take this off of here real quickly you guys and make myself large again hey I made myself too large um, I appreciate you guys so much for being here for sticking it out throughout this video hey if you stuck through to the end of the video in um, in honor of that really cool parrot costume is there a parrot emoji like drop that down below I just like to see who's really watching these at the end of the video because you guys are like you guys are awesome and I enjoy being able to go through and read your names and see your your faces and give you a heart and you know um, a message back so thanks so much for watching this video um, I hope you guys are blessed with incredible sales this week in your eBay Poshmark uh, Mercari Facebook marketplace Amazon wherever you're reselling be blessed and remember treat your business like your business